Hello guys, it is Teenage DC Fan back with another video, and I have made a decision not to do a review on the new episode of The Flash from last week, as well as the new episodes from a different, a couple different shows that were on last week, just due to, um, like, scheduling and conflict, because, like, like I have to re catch up and, like, do the new ones that are on this week, and it, I just wouldn't have been able to work it out, um, so in this review, um, I'll be reviewing the latest episode of The Flash titled Snowpack, but first, I'm going to do a quick review of what happened last week on The Flash. Okay, so on last week's episode of The Flash, it wasn't a very good episode, kind of sucked honestly so mm, you're not really missing out on anything without the review um but basically it was like a flashback but at the same time a flash forward because it was showing how um how and why Nora decided to get help from Ebard Thon um because she found out about her powers and that her mother put the thing inside of her to make sure she didn't find out about it and then godspeed showed up and the the design looks cool but i just think this looks really fake and like cgi-esque like i get that it's cgi but it just doesn't look real enough like other cgi on this show does so i was kind of disappointed with that but other than that, I, the suit actually looks pretty good. Um, but anyway, Godspeed killed Nora's friend. And then she ended up going to Ebard Thon Because he would know how to go back in time. So that she could see her father. And then that's exactly what happened. Now, on to the new episode of The Flash. Uh, like I said, it's titled Snowpack. And this is... Uh, this has more with Nora and, like, Ebard Thon and all that stuff, but there's also some stuff with Icicle and Caitlyn and Caitlyn's mother and all that cool stuff. Okay, so let's get on to the review for Snowpack. Okay, so I'll, I'll go over the, all the stuff with Nora first. Um, so first off, Barry and Iris get in a fight because Iris thinks that they should bring uh, Nora back to their present time because she still trusts Nora but Barry is like no she lied to us for months and stuff like that so he doesn't trust her so then they get in this huge argument and so then well they kind of like go their separate ways and they don't like get a divorce or anything it's like no nothing major it's just like Iris goes back to her, back to Joe and, and uh, Cecile's house, and she's working on the Central City Citizen paper, and then, and then Barry goes to look for Cicada, and he also investigates the whole high school thing, but I'll get into that more later. Um, so then over with Nora... She goes back to Ebard Thon, and then she realizes that he was able to go th travel through time using the Speed Force without being detected, and that nobody else could do that. So she wanted to know how to do that so that she could go back in time to her father without him knowing before she got there or something like that. So then that is when we fi find out that he actually didn't use the speed force he created his own now i have no idea how he did this but he just did and she was like tell me how to do it and stuff like that and he was like it has sort of a negative effect on you or something like that so then basically she it, it's like barry and him opening a breach uh but, like, with running, like, super fast and doing it that way, which is the slow way, I guess. 
because Cisco could just open a breach easily. But um, so like she run runs around the city, um, getting faster and faster, and then uh, she's communicating with Thawn at the same time, and he's like just filling her head with all these evil thoughts, and then she gets mad, and then the portal the breach opens and it's like all red and stuff but then right before she goes through it it closes didn't work because she she's just like her father she's too much of a hero she doesn't have a dark side to her now back to iris um so uh ralph uh who hasn't been in any of the past few episodes i don't think well, he was in the last episode, um, but anyway, so he and Cecile are looking for clues when it comes to Cicada, the new Cicada, which is Grace, like future Grace, and so he, he, one, he, he asks Iris a question, I think, and then she doesn't answer, and then he goes to look on her screen, at, and it says something about, uh, I'm sorry, Barry, and you, but you probably won't be able to forgive me for this. I, I think that's what it said. And then he's like, huh, what's that? And then she's like, mind your own business. And then, and then Cecile can sense that she's angry. And then basically, it ends up that, uh, Iris goes to, she's going to go to the future, and she's going to bring Nora back to the present time. And then Ralph follows her, and she's like, you're, you're not going to stop me. And then he's like, who, who said anything about stopping you? So then he actually ends up going along with her. So they use the time sphere thing to travel to where Nora is. Then they get there. And Ralph is talking to the guard, and he's like, yeah, I gotta go talk to Thon and stuff like that. And then the guy is like, the only person that, that can go in there to see him is me. So then Ralph is like, okay. So then he, like, morphs into that guy. And then that guy's like, what just happened? And then Ralph knocks him out and throws him in a cell. And then he, like, stays guard while Iris goes to talk to Nora. So, Iris walks in the into Thon's cell where Nora is. And then she and Nora get into a huge fight because... She, well, well, she's not really mad at Iris. She's more just mad at Barry because Iris came and Barry didn't. Because Barry still doesn't trust her. So then she gets really mad. And then. E e Ebard start starts to realize. That she really is tapping into her dark side. And then her eyes like go all red. And she has like red lightning all over her. Um, like the dark speed force basically. And then she runs around the city again. The portal opens up. She runs through. So it finally happened, and then uh, Ralph informs uh, Iris that they found the knocked out guard and they gotta go. So then they leave, and then there's m more on that later in the episode. Um, basically, n it shows Nora coming out of the dark speed force and her eyes all red and stuff, and she just looks like pure evil. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't really care for Nora, but now that she's evil, I might start liking her. Um, she's kind of like Mona on Legends, but nowhere near as bad as Mona. Like She's just that annoying person, that annoying character that always messes everything up and like everything's always her fault. And I just hate it so much. Um, but then, uh, yeah, so I think that's it for Iris with that part. Now getting on to the stuff with, uh, Caitlyn, Killer Frost, 
icicle, icicle and all that stuff. So, basically, uh, Caitlin's mother is at the lab working, and then Icicle shows up, but he doesn't see her, and then he steals an, uh, not too sure what it's called, I'll go check real quick. Okay, I'm back, and it, it's called the Cryo Atomizer. Um, so he steals that, he gets out of there, and then the next day, uh, Barry, Joe, and Caitlin show up to, like, investigate it, and then, um, they're figuring out how to find it, and then Barry goes to go get the thing that they needed to find it, and then Ice Cole walks in the door, st starts shooting ice blasts, knocks out Caitlin and, uh, her mother, and then Barry runs in. He's in his Flash costume now. He uh, si he s jumps in front of Joe, and then he gets hit by the ice blast. Um, then Ice Cold kidnaps Caitlin and her mother, while um, Joe is just trying to like keep Barry alive. And then a breach opens. Sher Sherlock um, comes through. And then he basically ends up saving Barry's life. So that's good. He's not dead. Uh, th I highly doubt that they would actually kill him. Because it is his show. And w that would be re pretty stupid. To have a show that's named after a character. Then that character dies. That would just be pretty stupid. Um, so then, anyway. Later, um, Icicle puts Caitlyn's mother in a chamber, and he's trying to bring out her, like, I ice alter ego out, basically. So he, like, starts the thing, and then Caitlyn escapes because she's Killer Frost now. And then it, he's, like, Icicle is, is like, y you can fight me or save your mother. So then, obviously, she chooses to save her mother, and Icicle flies away on his ice power stuff, but then Barry shows up, so then she's like, save my mother, or, or get her out of there, or something like that, and then she's like, um, uh, I don't really remember what she said, but basically she, she's gonna go after Icicle, so then... This is, like, my favorite part of the episode, the battle between Killer Frost and Icicle. I love the CGI and the effects that they used for this. It looks so awesome with them using their ice slides and stuff. And, like, shooting ice blasts at each other. And, um, C Caitlin ends up hit hitting him. But then it, like, of course, it creates, like, a big cloud of, uh, like, some kind of gas. And then she can't see what's happening. And then all of a sudden she sees Icicle jumping toward her. And he has an Icicle in, in his hand. And then he stabs her. And I thought he stabbed her through the heart. So I was like, oh, is she dead? Because there's been rumors that she's leaving the show. But no, of course she's not. Because then Icicle is about to stab her again. Because he pulls the ice skull out of her chest and then is about to stab her again. But then all of a sudden, um, something, like, stops working. And then he almost starts melting. And then you see that Thomas Snow was able to fight through. Because he saw that he was going to kill Caitlyn. And he had to save her. So now ice skull is gone, at least for now. And Thomas is alive. And then, obviously, he, he doesn't kill his daughter because he, he's not psycho anymore. Um, but then they go back. And then, um, while all that was happening, uh, Barry uh, d did something to, to get, like, electricity running through him. And, like, phasing at the same time. So he... Because... Every time he touched the chamber, it would freeze him. 
so he had to figure out a way to phase like he couldn't just phase through there because then he would get frozen and he couldn't just um like shoot a lightning bolt at it because that would kill caitlin's mother so they came up with the plan and they did it and they saved her mother and so that's good and then um then thomas and caitlin walk in there's the happy family reunion and then cicada which is grace walks in and she's like good now i only have to kill now there's only one more person i have left to kill and then she shoots some kind of beam of energy at, at barry and he like gets slammed against the wall and it looks like he's dead obviously he's not um but then caitlin tells her parents to go and that she'll handle it and then she turns into killer frost she starts fighting uh cicada but then uh i think yeah she somehow she for some reason she turns back into caitlin in the middle of the battle um because she's hurt and then cicada throws her dagger at caitlin and it looks like it's about to hit her but then you see Thomas jump in front of her and save her life. But now he's dead. So that's kind of sad. I mean, they just got him back and now he's dead again. He technically wasn't dead before, but it, it, it was like he was. Because they faked his death, kind of. They had the fake death certificate. But anyway, um, so that's that. And, um, yeah, so then Cicada gets away and she steals the uh cryo atomizer and she also kidnapped like present time grace in earlier in the episode um so she's gonna use that to do something to her i'm not sure what and then uh barry and iris start talking talking it out they basically end the argument and they're like at good standards now, I guess, like, um, like, they're not on the wrong foot anymore, um, so, yeah, that was pretty much it for the episode, I'm really looking forward to the next episode, because it's going to have the rogues in it, and if you don't know who the rogues are, basically, it's a team of Flash villains that, like, come together to, to fight the Flash. It's basically the Flash's version of the Sinister Six, which is for Spider-Man. And yeah, it, it's not gonna be, like, I, I don't think it's gonna have any actual members that, the, that were in the rogues in the comics, but it still looks like it's gonna be pretty cool because Ragdoll is back, and I'm really looking forward to see that, because I loved Ragdoll, he was so awesome, um, but that, that was obviously on before I started my channel, so I didn't do a review on those episodes, but uh, let me know if you're looking forward to next episode as much as I am, thank you so much for watching, and please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in my next video so I can bestow all my DC knowledge upon you. I'll probably be posting a Gotham video soon. So, yeah.